Congratulations, you just played in the US Open. You got targeted the whole time. You got 90% of the balls hit to you. You fell apart, you crumbled, you missed most of your dinks. What to do when you're being targeted? There's five things you can do even if you're not playing great. Please leave your comments, please subscribe, and don't forget to have a good day. The first thing you can do if you're being targeted is to make your side of the court smaller. Yes, smaller. So if you're playing the backhand middle side, go over to the line, cover the line, and let your partner get all the balls because you're still gonna get most of them if you're being targeted. So you're gonna have to move less and just hit volleys more. Colin Johns is being targeted. He's playing with Ben Johns. Colin Johns is in the near right hand corner. What is he doing wrong? Colin Johns should be playing more towards the sideline. He almost gets in Ben Johns way right there, almost screws up his forehand. And Adam Stone is in blue. Adam Stone's one of the top players, a little better than Colin Johns, at least right there. He hits Colin. Colin should have been over and he wouldn't have gotten hit like this. And you can ATP a lot more effectively when you're playing less of the court. So if your partner's taking all those volleys and dinks, really try to be aggressive, try to earn it, stay moving. Don't stop, addicted to the shindig. Look to Ernie, since you made your side of the court smaller, you want to keep moving around, stay loose. Look to Ernie, stay dynamic. Number two, hit a strong fourth shot. There's a number of things you can do on this fourth shot, but we don't want to make it easy for them to get into the kitchen because that probably went in most of the Dinkin Wars against you. So we want to be aggressive, go for shots, try to win the point before they get to the kitchen. Here's our very own Mark Napotovic in the red shirt being targeted. He just won the US Open 50 plus mixed. So he's having a week, but he's being targeted by Ben Johns. And what does he do? He's really aggressive on that four shot. That's a four shot drop shot. There's a number of things you can do on the four shot to keep your opponents off balance. The drop shot really works well. When you use it sporadically, a push volley that Tony Giannani just hit against Kyle Gates works really well too. It pushes them back. You don't really cut under that. It's a straight push. Hit that push volley about a foot in front of you. Don't hit it too far out in front of you. You'll pop it up or hit it to the left and really let it come into your sweet spot and then hit it. The backhand roll is a great four shot as well. Ian Kush just hit it there to keep the opponents back. And that's Kyle Yates, and he is pretty amazing. But that's me in the Bumblebee shirt, and I actually played pretty well this game. So on that four shot, be really aggressive. What else can you do on that four shot? You can hit a slice like Henry Ornato does. You don't see this very often, but it puts some nice spin and it makes it tougher to drop. So Gary's forced to drive that. Henry got a lucky net court. You know what I'm saying? But he gets lucky because he's that good. He's Henry Ornato. Three, stack. We want to get your partner involved. We want to give him or her forehand middle. We want them to really, really try to cover the whole court, be really aggressive, and make them pop up so we have some easy putaways. That's what we want to do. In this match against Kyle Yates, we were getting killed in Dinkin Wars. So when they hit that third shot drop, we switched. I have that big forehand middle, and I'm trying to play my banger game against Kyle Yates, and we were a lot more effective in this game opposed to the last. I believe this game was 11-7. We lost. There's so many different ways you can stack, and I've done many videos on it. Four. We want to throw up some strategic lobs while dinking. So in the dinking war, we want to disguise it really well. We don't want to give anything away. And then we want to throw it cross court most likely because that gives us more room for error. And we want to change the dynamics of the match. Sandy is being targeted in this video. She just won the 50 plus US Open with Mark Napotovich. She is incredible. So she's in a dinking war with Christina Bolton in the top left hand corner, a certified 5-0. And this is match point against us. And look at her disguise that lob just like a dink and when you do stuff like that on match point your opponents are tense and good things will happen so throw that stuff up stay loose and live your life you'll most likely win the us open 50 plus if you do this because she did that's my reason of logic that's who you're listening to people five Try to shake and bake with your partner a little to get some easy points. So if I have a short drive in the court, I want my partner right at the kitchen, pinch in middle. So right in the middle of the kitchen, and he's looking for a pop-up off my amazing drive. So try to get some free points. Me and David now are playing the Sobeks. William and Rusty Sobek, and they're really good. They're winning a lot of Dinkin' Wars, and I said, David, go shake and bake. I'm gonna drive 
like a cheetah that forgot to run for breakfast and that's really hungry and david puts it away just beautiful watch me hit that drive david's pretty incredible he had an awesome week of the u.s open he got silver in the 35 plus men's and he did very well in the 18 plus as well good job david pickleball lovers what do you think of my suggestions while you're being targeted will they help please leave your comments please subscribe and don't forget here at the Pickleball Pirates, we may love pickleball just as much as you do. I know it's tough to believe, but it's true. Mm -hmm.